بنت ديما My daughter Dima has physical and intellectual disabilities. I am Iman Abu Jarrat and I have a visual disability. I'm considered legally blind. I am Dua Qashlan. I couldn't walk since birth. In sixth grade, I began using a wheelchair. I'm Hiba Abu Jazar and I have a hearing disability. Tens of thousands of people in Gaza have a disability. Israel's 13-year closure of Gaza has severely restricted the entry and exit of people and goods, limiting access to healthcare, assistive devices, and electricity. Chronic power outages disproportionately impact people with disabilities. The biggest problem that Dima suffers is from lack of electricity, because she completely depends on it. Dima has had bronchitis since birth. She experiences blueness in her face, shortness of breath, and inability to move. I have to use a device that provides her with oxygen. It helps her a bit with breathing. Electricity comes on for about six hours a day. I feel that my whole life fully depends on whether there is electricity or not. My electric scooter is my legs. Without electricity, I have no legs. The battery of my electric scooter needs five to eight hours to charge until it is a full battery and I can spend my day normally. Life in Gaza for people with disabilities is generally very difficult. Lack of electricity affects my life a lot. My vision is low and the electricity is insufficient, so I can't study properly. Most of the time, I need up to three flashlights when there isn't electricity to have enough light to study. As a person with a hearing disability, I personally have to be able to see in order to communicate. Lack of electricity is a big problem. We have to have electricity throughout the day to communicate easily. Israeli attacks and import restrictions have reduced the capacity of Gaza's sole power plant. Israel also limits the amount of electricity it sells to Gaza. The feud between the Palestinian Authority and Hamas contributes to the crisis. If there was electricity for 24 hours a day, I would feel safer. At least, I would be able to leave my home when I want to. Electricity for 24 hours would be amazing. Wow. Most importantly, it will help ease my studies. I hope to complete my master's and doctorate degrees and achieve a lot in my life. I hope they will find a solution for the electricity problem. Every time the electricity cuts, I don't know what to do for Dima. Dima's health deteriorates. Israel should end its closure of Gaza and ensure the supply of electricity is enough to meet the needs of Gaza's population, including people with disabilities. Hamas authorities should improve accessibility inside Gaza for people with disabilities. I hope that all people with disabilities get all of their hopes, dreams, and rights.